Jelly Bean Story Page, The Fox and the Hare, A Modern Epic Tale of Adventure In the bustling town of Meadowbrook, where city streets met rolling forests, two unlikely best friends lived on the edge of adventure, Felix, the clever and tech-savvy fox, and Hazel, the energetic and inventive hare. Though they seemed like complete opposites, Felix with his quiet, calculating mind and Hazel with her boundless enthusiasm, they had been partners in every escapade since childhood. One bright morning, the duo received an urgent message. Meadowbrook was in trouble. A mysterious corporation called Big Earth Company had announced plans to tear down their beloved forest to build a massive mall. The heart of the forest, an ancient tree known as the Whispering Oak, was said to be enchanted and held the town's natural balance in place. If the tree fell, Meadowbrook would lose not just its greenery, but its magic too. Hazel's ears perked up. We can't let them do this, Felix. We need to save the tree. Felix adjusted his glasses, deep in thought. There's no way we can take on a whole corporation alone. But. I might know someone who can help. Felix's plan was bold. They would need to track down Zara, a legendary hacker who lived in the shadows of the cyber world. Zara was known for bringing down corrupt corporations, but no one had seen her in years. The only way to find her was by following digital breadcrumbs hidden across the city. Their journey began at the town's sprawling junkyard, where old tech came to rest. Felix used his knack for gadgets to repurpose a few abandoned drones. With Hazel's speed and Felix's inventions, they navigated through a labyrinth of rusty towers and shattered screens, dodging mechanical traps left by the junkyard's strange overseer, an eccentric owl named Cyrus. In exchange for helping fix his collection of broken robots, Cyrus gave them their first clue, an encrypted code leading to the underground gaming arena of Neon City. Hazel couldn't contain her excitement. Neon City! I've always wanted to go there. It's full of high-speed chases, neon lights, and danger. Neon City was everything they imagined, bright, fast-paced, and filled with colorful characters, including street racers, hackers, and inventors. Felix and Hazel entered a secret virtual reality tournament where only the best could win access to Zara's hidden lair. The competition was fierce, but Hazel's quick reflexes and Felix's strategy helped them outsmart every obstacle, dodging neon-clad racers, cracking riddles, and escaping virtual traps. In the final level, they faced off against a sleek panther named Jet, the reigning champion of the underground. He nearly outpaced them, but Hazel's speed and Felix's tech tricks saved the day, earning them a key to Zara's lair. When they finally met Zara, they were surprised to discover she wasn't a mysterious hacker hiding in some dark corner, Zara was a sleek, futuristic lynx who lived in a hidden eco-friendly house at the heart of the city. She had been watching them all along, impressed by their teamwork and determination. You want to stop Big Earth Company? Zara asked, her holographic screens lighting up with blueprints of the company's secret operations. You'll need more than a simple plan. But I think I can help. Zara showed them that the company's CEO, a wolf named Magnus, had a dark secret. He wasn't just after the forest for profit, he was planning to exploit the magic of the Whispering Oak to gain control over the natural world itself. With Zara's hacking skills, Felix's inventions, and Hazel's daring spirit, the trio devised an epic plan to infiltrate Big Earth Company. They scaled skyscrapers, dodged high-tech security systems, and hacked into drones patrolling the forest's edge. In a final daring move, Hazel raced through the company's headquarters, placing gadgets that Felix had designed to overload their systems, while Zara locked Magnus out of his own network. As the alarms blared and Magnus tried to escape, Felix cornered him in his lavish office. It's over, Magnus, Felix said, his calm voice masking the tension in the air. You've underestimated Meadowbrook, and you've definitely underestimated us. Magnus snarled, but before he could retaliate, the office lights flickered, and Zara's hologram appeared beside Felix. 
You've lost control, Magnus, she said. Time to go. With Sara's final blow to the company's servers, Magnus fled, and Big Earth Company S plans collapsed overnight. The Whispering Oak and the forest were saved. Back in Meadowbrook, the town celebrated Felix, Hazel, and Zara's victory with a huge festival under the stars. The forest glowed with life once again, and the Whispering Oak hummed softly, as if thanking them for their bravery. Felix and Hazel stood beneath the ancient tree, watching the lanterns light up the night sky. I knew we'd save the day, Hazel said, grinning. We're unstoppable. Felix smirked. Yeah, but next time, let's take a vacation. I've had enough near-death experiences for a while.